Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream in Thailand. And yes, I'm living the dream and I want to live as long as I can. So this video is all about don't die of embarrassment once you're retired. Now this can easily happen because us guys don't like going to the hospitals for checkups for anything. But sometimes, because we're getting older, this is sometimes what you've got to do. Now I've been there, I've had embarrassing checkups by the doctor at the hospitals in my past. And um, was I shy and embarrassed? Yes, I was. But I said to the doctor, I don't want to die of embarrassment if there's something wrong with me. And today we're going to talk about prostate cancer. Prostate cancer, older guys, it is a certainty that your prostate is going to get bigger as you get older. Now I'm going to go through some of the warning signs and don't die of embarrassment to go and get this because it's not a finger up the bum anymore. There's various tests that they do. So most people were shy and embarrassed about going to get a prostate examination because it's a rectal examination, but no. Now the first check nowadays is a PSA. Now there's some controversy over that actually, whether it gives the right results or not, but let the doctors determine that. We as normal guys don't fully understand everything that goes on in our bodies, but the doctors have a better idea. And let them do the, the checking for you by looking at your blood tests. Now the thing is with prostate cancer, it creeps up on you. It doesn't actually give you any pain. And maybe as it gets to a stage where it's too late to actually treat it. So, what's the signs and the symptoms of prostate problems? So I think we all know a fair few of them, but again, it's, it's rushing to the toilet for a pee. Having to get up three or four times during the night for a pee, and the stream of flow. If it's a weak flow, then that's one of the signs and symptoms. And if you've got one or two other signs and symptoms with it, I'd go and get it checked out. A simple PSA check. So what's a PSA check, people are asking? It's a prostate specific antigen test. So what's this test for? It's to test for a protein to see whether it's got any cancerous and normal cells. And depending on whether it's a high PSA count or a low PSA count, most people have a low PSA count. But if it's going up, then it needs to be checked even further. Further symptoms that you're feeling that your bladder hasn't emptied enough. So therefore you're just wanting to carry on having a pee, but there's nothing there. Blood in your urine. Now there's many things that can cause blood in your urine. And again, this was one of my embarrassing treatments that I had to go to the hospital for. And I'll come on about that a little bit later on. But even if you have any of these symptoms, it doesn't mean to say you've got, you've got cancer. It just means to say, go and have it looked at. All of us who are retired here are all getting older. So things are going to start going wrong with us. Now there's a big population of retired people here that don't have insurance or medical insurance whilst living here and they're scared of going to the doctors. Well I've done a couple of videos, actually going to the public hospital isn't expensive at all. So the cost for a PSA test at a public hospital is maybe between one and two thousand baht. So if that's going to prolong your life I think it's money well worth spending. So my embarrassing procedures, what's happened to me, I had blood coming out my urine many, many years ago and I had to go to the hospital to get it checked out. So what this involved is sending a camera up into my kidneys through my Jap's eye. <laughs> yes, how embarrassing. And what made it more embarrassing is that there were student doctors and student nurses there and everybody was looking, obviously, and I'm laid there and everybody looking at me. But in reality, was I bothered about it? Yes, I was. I was very shy and embarrassed about it. But once you're on the table and the procedure's going ahead, ah, uh, <laughs> all that lot just goes out your mind. And the embarrassment stops when the doctor tells you everything's okay, it's just one of them things, don't worry about it. So that gave me a new lease of life, not having to worry about what I was thinking what it might be. So at the end of the day, now that you're retired, don't die of embarrassment. Any signs or symptoms of everything, go to the doctors. If you've not got insurance, go to the doctors at the public hospital. It's going to be much, much cheaper. So from Les, retired and living the dream, live on. Live as long as you can. Don't die of embarrassment.